Good morning, everybody. This is your buddy, Big Money for Eternity, and I am back with another video. But before I start today's video, um, I have a little disclaimer. If by chance you are squeamish or eating or drinking, I do not advise you to eat or drink anything until after you have watched this, unless you have a strong st stomach. Or you, if you are squeamish in any way whatsoever, you don't have to watch this. Because it's going to get pretty gross. Um, well, not really gross, but gross enough that I think I should do the disclaimer anyway, just to keep, keep you guys safe. <clears throat> um, so, if you're ready, let's jump into it, shall we? Um, this particular incident, I should call it, took place back on Monday today is Wednesday so I'm making this vlog as you're watching it um Monday evening my mother came home from work and she was just all kinds of exhausted you could just see it in her face it was hot outside she didn't feel like cooking so she told me she wanted to know if it was okay if we ordered out so I said you know it's fine you know so we have two places that are super super close by thank god where we can order out we have a deli place or we have a pizza place well usually we get a pizza from the pizza place that's amazing and you know we get we we'll get something from there we're good but monday evening we decided we were going to try something do something different and order from the deli place which you know we hadn't had any uh, bad experiences from that place before, so we figured, you know, why not go for it, you know. Well, they say that things are due to change, so, um, can't say that we haven't had a bad experience anymore, because what you're about to hear is our first experience, bad experience ever from this place. So we get the menu out that the place, that the deli place gives you when you go in and take your food. So, because we had gotten one from the last time we ordered there. So we looked through it and mom decided she was going to get in a regonata, which is like a, it's like a ham and cheese sandwich, but they put a uh, tomato or spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce in it and bake it in the oven melt cheese it's so good if you haven't had one before and you know where they sell them you gotta try one so good anyway i decided i was gonna get a crab cake french fries and a side of coleslaw so i go i you know i take the order and i call it in and the lady tells me it, it'll be about 20 minutes so i'm like okay you know so you know, we sit and we wait the 20 minutes, and my mom says, okay, I'm going to go get the food, and then I'll be back. So, and this place is only like, what, maybe two minutes away at the most. It's just right up the road from where we live. So, she goes out to get the food, and I figure, okay, she's only going to be gone like two minutes, and she'll be back. So, five minutes go by, then ten minutes, then... 15 minutes then 20 minutes and then finally she comes home so she comes in the door and I'm thinking okay she's just going to bring the food and we're going to eat right well she's out in the kitchen for 5 minutes longer than I thought she'd be and while she's out there I hear her microwave beep and I'm thinking what's she doing with the microwave the food should be hot you know so she comes in and she's got this look on her face like you won't believe what you're about what I'm what I gotta tell you. So I'm sitting there and she's like, she goes, I go in there to get the food, and mine was ready. And she says, but when I got when I asked where yours was, she said the girl looked at her and goes, oh we had to we're not we haven't cooked it yet because we're out of we were out of crab cakes. We wanted to know if we could use fish give them fish instead. And when she told me that, I'm thinking, why couldn't they just tell me that over the phone? 
that they don't have crab cakes and would you like fish instead so I told her that was fine I just you know took the fish I got these little fish nuggets that were probably that big and about that thick you know what you know so we sit down we start eating dinner well I start to eat mine I start with the fish because I'm I'm one of those people that only eats one thing at a time so that's weird that's me being weird like that but as I'm eating I'm sitting there I'm kind of looking over at mom and she's got this look on her face like she is not happy and I could tell it was because of the food well I'm sitting there eating my fish and you know my fish was fine I had no problems with it it was nicely cooked you know flaky like it should be juicy whatever so I get done eating all the fish nuggets there's like six of them six or seven of them really good and then at the same time my mother and I get to the french fries well I pick one up to eat one and this french fry that I picked up to eat okay flopped over like it didn't have a pulse which tells me one thing tells me that the french fries were undercooked so I, I bit into one just to see it was nowhere near done so I put it down I said I am not eating that she goes why I said I said because it's like eating rubber so she says well how's your coleslaw I said I haven't tried it yet and I was you know starting to get a little trepidatious about it to begin with so I put the fries down and I start to eat the coleslaw well at first it didn't it didn't this coleslaw didn't seem too bad but then I got into it a little bit more the coleslaw had no flavor because the way I like mine is you know that little dressing that you put in it and you add a little bit of white vinegar to it and give a little bit of a zip that's the way I like mine I like to have a little bit of white vinegar in it to give it a little bit of a tang you know this had no white vinegar in it no flavor it just tasted like water on cabbage and it was it was you know nasty so but I but I ate it because I didn't want to waste it well then as I'm eating it and guys if you're eating I apologize if you're drinking I apologize if you have a weak stomach I apologize as I'm eating the coleslaw out of nowhere and I swear I am not lying about this out of nowhere my coleslaw starts to smell like lawn clippings totally not making it up how I got through that I don't know but I told my mom I said that is the worst coleslaw I have ever had in my entire life so for those of you who may be watching me who live in Maryland where I'm from if you go to a little place called Rock Springs Deli, and yes, I'm calling you guys out, I would I would stop. Because after the horror story that I went through, I don't want to put you guys in that same position, okay? Because the meal that I got was absolutely the worst thing I have ever shoved in my mouth in my life. I'm never eating there again. Um, it was, it was, I'm, it was, I'm serious, it was that bad. It was totally that bad. Um, I mean, the only, the only thing out of that entire meal that I had that I enjoyed was the fish. The rest of it was disgusting. And I, so I'm, I'm never eating there again. And I told my mom, I said, next time we order anything out, I said, I don't care what it is. I said, we're getting it from the pizza place because the pizza place, their food's awesome. So, that was the worst meal I have ever had in my entire life. Just, ugh, totally disgusting. Oh my god, it was gross. Um, so if you guys ever come to Maryland, stay away from Rock Springs Deli. Because their food is disgusting. Um, they have never served us a good batch of fries in our life and they probably never will so uh yeah that's my horror story um 
to those of you with a weak stomach who may have watched this, I apologize if you uh, felt sick. Um, that's why I put that little disclaimer in the beginning to save you guys. Um, but if by chance you like that, like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, hit that little red subscribe button if you want to join my page. Um, I put out videos as often as I can. Um, because we're kind of in a busy slot spot right now. So I probably won't get to post as regularly as I want to. But um, if you guys enjoyed what you saw and you're a member of my page, uh, stick around and uh, I will post again as soon as I can. And you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Oh, before I go, also, if you would, if you have any horror stories about a place where you've eaten, Leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you had. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.